Let's take a quick break and look at our completed create ticket and dashboard views. We'll start off by creating a ticket. That way our dashboard has something on it. So when we go, we get this create ticket view and we'll say something like issues with Java. Just use my auto fills and then we'll submit. We know upon submit that this will take us back to the home page. We get that Slack notification down in the bottom right corner, which just comes from my Slack app. And now we should be able to view it on the home page here. So far, we have this create ticket and we have this dashboard set up. Now we need to be able to click this learn more button to go and review an issue. We can build that function under our review tickets function. Starting off, this needs to be a web page as well. So we'll use an HTTP trigger and a response like how we have in all the previous ones. We'll use some HTML. And what needs to happen is we need to copy and paste some logic into this HTML. We see that it's number six in our GitHub. So I'll copy this and paste it in to the HTML right here. And we see that we need a couple things. We need an HTML string and a submit link. The submit link is just like how we have in the previous ones where we'll create a variable and define the submit link. And then this HTML string will be from a Python module. Let's go ahead and create that variable. So submit link equals, and we'll leave this as an empty string. This submit link should take us back to the dashboard. So we'll go and copy that endpoint and paste it here. Now we need a Python module. This Python module will just build our HTML for us using the query parameters of this string that we're going to pass from this HTML document over here on our dashboard. That sounds complex, but all we're doing is taking in a title from here. So we'll put in a query parameter, a title. Then with that title, we'll go into this Python and query the database of the title to get back all the HTML that we need for this review ticket. We'll talk to you all of that again here in a second so you know what's going on. But walking through this Python very quickly, we're getting that title from our query parameter. We're querying the database for that title. We're querying the database for every ticket that has that title. And then we're returning HTML back so we can pass that to the HTML module located here. Actually, I made a mistake here. On this create variable, since the action link, the submit link, should be closing the ticket, we'll just go ahead and build out our helper function. This link will be the one that we need to put in into our create variable. Having that fixed and our Python module in place, now we just need to take in the query parameter, a title, which we are from this HTML. Let's verify that we're doing that. So it's in our Python logic and we see that the HTML string that we're creating is review ticket and giving a query parameter a title. We'll make sure that our URL is the same. So review ticket, this should be working. And now we'll just turn it on. We'll turn this one on too. And we need one last bit of Python logic for this one. So what's going on in our application, we'll refresh this, is we just constructed a way to review the ticket. To review a ticket, we need to click on learn more on the individual ticket. And that should take us to a page where that ticket is displayed and we have an option to close it, which is what we get. We also have this home option here. Now all we need is whenever a user clicks this close button, we need to actually go and change our database so the status is closed. We can do that with this helper function here. We'll open the editor and this time we'll look at our diagram and it's number seven. And this is our code. Pasting it in at the bottom, talking through it, we're importing the libraries 
And we're just updating our DB where the ticket is the same as the title that we're passing. And we're updating that status to closed. Closing the editor. Now, when we click on close this ticket, we should go back to the home page where no tickets are displayed, which is exactly what we get. I know this was a longer tutorial, but I hope it shows you just how powerful WayScript is. We can build very in-depth applications with pre-built tools that help speed up the workflow. Without WayScript, we'd have to build this in a framework and then spend time configuring it and setting it up. Instead, we can just build it all on WayScript, know that it's managed by WayScript, and we don't have to worry about it. And anyone on our team can come in, make changes, and save them. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know and we'll help you out. Until next time.